How's it going everybody? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com and today I've got something a little bit different for you. Um, uh, to start with, I just want to make it clear that this is not paid promotion. Uh, um, I'm going to be doing a review for a guitar. Uh, the brand is Glary. I'd never even heard of them. Uh, but they contacted me and uh, wanted to you know, want to know if I would be interested in uh, reviewing one of their guitars. So that's what I'm going to do. So like I said, this is not paid promotion. I'm not getting uh, paid uh, to do this uh, by Glary. So um, this is just going to be a straightforward, honest review of this guitar. So let's, uh, let's unbox it and check it out. So that's one of the first things I kind of noticed is that the, the packaging seems to be pretty solid as far as with shipping. I mean, I've bought guitars before, you know, you know, and had them shipped and sometimes they, they don't arrive in very good shape. This looks like it's really packed really well. Uh, it was delivered by uh, UPS. Like I said, it was packed very well. All right, so it's double boxed. Triple boxed. All right. Oh, cool. I couldn't even remember what guitar it was that I got. Wait a minute, there's something else in here too. It's actually an amplifier. So it comes with a little amplifier. I'll we'll have to check that out as well. So, so we've got an instrument cable, a guitar strap, a couple of guitar picks. Allen wrench for uh, adjusting the truss rod, I would imagine. And a gig bag. All right, so the guitar is inside of this uh, protective bag on top of uh, being in all the boxes. So other guitar brands take note, this is how you, this is how you package a guitar to ship it. First of all, just right out of the box, it's really nice looking. It's got a really nice finish. It's got a couple of uh, dent right here, a couple of kind of knob holes. Yeah, some more kind of knob holes and stuff, but it's a very it's really cool. The, the guitar that the, the first one I picked was actually the same model, but it was the is like a tobacco burst uh, finish on it that they were out of stock. So I just made some other choices, and this is one of them. So yeah, um, it's not really super heavy, but it, it doesn't feel like it's you know it doesn't feel real cheap or anything like that either. Um, see here so the neck the neck looks pretty good it's pretty good um, so yeah so now let's uh, let's tune it up and um, plug it in I'm just gonna plug it into my amp for right now and we'll just see how kind of how it plays just right out of the box
I don't know if you can hear that on here. Uh, it's got that kind of a sitar thing happening that I suspect is going to be the, uh, the nut. Okay, so uh, I've got the guitar in tune now. As I'm sitting here playing, one of the things I'm noticing is that the, the fret edges are a little sharp. So this is something you see a lot on um, inexpensive guitars, and that's something that I, uh, um, I didn't mention at the beginning of the video. So. The thing about this is that this guitar, uh, for this for this package right here, um, it's like $140. You get the guitar, the amp, you know, the cable, the strap, the gig bag. Uh, so for $140. So I wasn't expecting it to be, you know, you know, a custom shop, you know, Fender Telecaster kind of a thing. Uh, but there is a little bit, you know, this can be filed down, not a huge thing, but you see it a lot on the um, cheaper guitars. Um, it's not set up very well at all, the, uh, how well you're gonna be able to see this, but the action is, it's really high. So it needs some, uh, needs some adjustment right out of the box. And again, not, nothing that I wouldn't expect to, you know, have happen. So yeah, it needs some adjustments to get uh, that right. Uh, file these frets a little bit. Um, these tuners that are on here, um, they, they function, but a couple of them, they already kind of feel like they have some kind of bad, bad spots in them. And then, uh, if you actually look at the tuners, but you can actually see this one is crooked. It's, it's turned a little bit in comparison to the other ones. All right, so I am going to go off camera and make some adjustments on this, and then we'll be right back in. All right, so I spent um, about 20 or 30 minutes uh, doing a little, uh, a little bit of a setup on here. Um, I filed the fret edges down. A couple here that I can see that I didn't do a real good job on, but I, you know, I was just trying to kind of do a do a quick one myself. Uh, I lowered the action down a whole bunch and attempted to set the intonation. It. Uh, just the style of this bridge there's not you know you have to the intonation for the E and the A string is done on one on the same saddle so uh, you know you can only get it so close uh, so yeah so just sitting here just kind of you know just feeling it and everything I really kind of like the neck the back of it it's it's got a, you know the unfinished maple and it's just really smooth and the neck profile on this guitar I really like too. Uh, a lot of times with the cheap guitars, it's like, you know, they just take like a big dowel and flatten the side off on it, and that's their neck. And this isn't this isn't quite fat like that. But that being said, you can feel it's, you know, this isn't you know like an old growth piece of wood. You can feel that it's not really rigid. There's quite a bit of flexibility you can feel just in it. But overall, the guitar feels good. Set my lap, it feels very balanced. Uh, so yeah, so let's uh, let's pl uh, plug it in here and try try it out through uh, through an amplifier. All right, so I'm just on a clean tone here. I'm on the bridge pickup, and I've got the uh, volume and the tone note, uh, the volume and tone knobs both turned all the way up.
fingers in the middle position, so uh, both pickups. And then all the way onto the neck. So all the electronics seem to be functioning you know, uh, as they should, and this has got just the classic Telecaster uh, pickup configuration. Um, so we've got a three-way switch and a master volume and a master tone for both pickups. All right, so just... Just the little tiny bit of playing that I've done. One thing I've noticed right off the bat is that these frets need to be polished. You can feel the drag on these things really bad. Now eventually that would just wear in, but uh, I, I think that I'll... Um, I don't like the, str the strings on here are a little bit too light for my taste. Um, so I think I'll put a heavier string on it and probably polish these frets at the same time. So anyhow, it doesn't really sound... It doesn't sound too bad. It actually sounds pretty good. Yeah, so for being an inexpensive guitar, and if you buy just the guitar without the amplifier, where I think you just get the guitar in the gig bag, um, it's less than a hundred dollars. Uh, it's it's pretty crazy. Like I said, I've never heard of it. This company is Glary, but for a sub one hundred dollar guitar, it's pretty awesome actually. When I first got it out of the box and I seen all the things I was going to have to do to it, uh, I was a little I was a little disillusioned with it, but it... But it actually plays pretty decent, and it sounds pretty dang good. See, it's got, it's got some kind of funky spots, but I think that it's, I think that the polishing the frets would actually solve a bunch of this. The fingerboard is actually, is really straight. Um, I just did a setup for somebody the other day on a, uh, on a Stratocaster, and it was one of the, you know, uh, vintage series or something, so it had all the really old school parts on it and stuff, and anyhow, that, the neck on that thing was, a, it had all kinds of problems, and it was, you know, considerably more money than this guitar was. Like I said, this is, it's very straight. Um, I think that a, a bridge upgrade would be a great investment in this. So let's check out the amp that came with it. All right, so this is the amp that came with it. We'll unbox that and uh, 
many of you are probably asking, how could they build a uh, guitar for so for so cheap? And right there, made in China. So I'm sure this guitar is made in China as well. But I'm actually kind of pleasantly surprised. So this is just a kind of like an owner's manual, just showing you the layout of the of everything on the amplifier itself. Um, so it's just got a single input. It's got a, um, a gain control, and then it's got a on-off button that's for like a, an overdrive, and then uh, a master volume and tone headphone jack. So here it is. It's, like I said, it's just a, it's just a little guy, um, but we'll look it up here and see what it sounds like. You know, I used to always just, if, if amp, little small amps, I would just condemn them until I, uh, I got me a, a Boss, you know, the Katana Mini, and I'm pretty sold on them now, so I'm curious to hear what this sounds like. So, hooked up and we'll check it out. Alright, so uh, here's the, the amplifier and I'm even using the cord, the instrument cable that they provided with it. So I've got the tone in the mid position and I've got the gain in the mid position as well and let's just start off there and see how sound too terribly bad. So let's try kicking in this higher gain. See what we what that did. sound bad it doesn't sound you know fantastic but for just a practice amp it it it, it works it works so let's try giving a little bit more gain turn the volume down a little bit With more gain and then backing the volume off on the guitar. Not too bad. So, my 
my overall first impression. Um, the guitar, I like it, the looks of it. I think it looks really nice. And things like this, I know a lot of people, they would hate stuff like this little knot hole. I just don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it uh, gives it a little character. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty nice. I, I really like, I like Telecaster, so um, I was really glad that this is the one that I was able to, to try. Um, I did have to do a few things right out of the box, you know, to make it uh, more playable, but really any guitar that I've ever bought online, it's been, I've never gotten one when gotten it out where it was just perfect. I mean, I've had some that are better than others. I've seen ones that come more ready to play than this one and ones that were far worse than this one as well. Uh, the tuners, like I said, they're, they're not the greatest, and this one is on there cricket. It doesn't really affect the functioning of it, but it just, it's obviously that it's it's cricket. Um, the neck feels good. There's still got some sharp frets here and stuff that need to be taken care of. But overall, the tone of it and stuff is, is pretty decent and comes with a pretty good little amp. So, uh, do I think it's worth it? Is it worth buying? Absolutely. Uh, if you are looking to buy you know your first guitar or you you know maybe for one of your kids they want a guitar you don't want to spend a bunch of money uh you know because not sure if they're gonna you know stay interested in it or whatever i think this is a great a great place to start um also this you know not even just for beginners if you just want to have like a guitar that, you know that plays good that you could take like on a trip with you or whatever then you don't have to worry about bringing out maybe you know your you know, high-end, you know, Fender or something. Uh, I think this would be a great, great backup guitar. Now, you know, here I've, you know, I've only played it for just a few minutes, so um, I will do a follow-up video to this, uh, giving my impression after I've been playing on it for, uh, for a while. So, uh, yeah, so if you, if you like this video and you like this kind of content, you know, let me know down in the comments and, uh, you know, be sure to like the, the video um you know subscribe to the channel you know subscribe to the channel so you can you know you can get my my follow-up video on this but yeah the the this guitar this glary guitar i think it it really it's pretty uh it's pretty decent and i will put um a link in the description where you know where you could pick yourself up one uh, if, if you know so interested or you know and you can check out their site they have a whole bunch of different ones I know I saw on their site they have ones that are like Stratocasters uh, they have some more that are more like kind of like you know maybe a hard rock a kind of a guitar thing they had some uh, like semi hollow body guitars uh, I think they even had acoustic guitars but yeah uh, for the price point that it's at um, Honestly, I don't know if there is another guitar that you could get sub $100 that's going to be as good as this one is. So this isn't the greatest guitar. Um, I'm not going to just, you know, get rid of all my other stuff and just play these exclusively or anything like that. Uh, but it's a great guitar for the price. 